So you can imagine New Year's Eve will look much differently this year than it has in years past with most of the bigger celebrations canceled, but that doesn't mean a night off for law enforcement. Brian Hoffman joins us live in downtown Reno after speaking with Reno police about the big night. Brian. Yeah, Kristen, while the new year might not go off with the bang of fireworks that we're all used to, it will go off with several smaller celebrations around town, most likely. And RPD says that they'll be ready for anything that might happen. We'll have an additional number of officers that are working specifically for any New Year's Eve uh, concerns that may come up. Now, with the row canceling the New Year's Eve firework display, things should look pretty quiet in the downtown area. But Officer Warren says that patrols will be ready to assist in any house parties that may occur. Another big thing law enforcement will be looking out for is illegal fireworks, as they're not allowed in Washoe County. Of course, the favorite way to bring in the new year tends to be with alcohol. RPD will especially be on the lookout for drunk drivers. We are still urging and, and really making sure the community knows that DUIs, especially on New Year's Eve, those are 100% preventable. You know, you don't have to get behind the wheel of a car when you're impaired. Now, RPD is partnering up with other local law enforcement agencies for the latest Joining Forces campaign focusing on DUI. And that'll be going through January 4th, which is, of course, going through the new year. So extra patrols will be present. Coming up on 2 News at 11, we spoke with some residents on how they're celebrating the new year since there aren't going to be any fireworks here. Covering the story live in downtown Reno, Brian Hoffman, 2 News.